Hey everyone, quick update on the comparison grow for the uh, Maxi Grow and the Master Blend. So this is the Maxi Grow tote. It's getting a little hard to open these. All the leaves are getting stuck in there, but hopefully you can see that okay. I know it's terrible with the lights, but if I don't have those on, then I don't really see anything. Um, still everything's good. Looks like I still have close to a half, half of contain, half a container of nutrients left. Um, master blend. Still nice and healthy. Actually, the roots on this one look a little bit whiter than the other one, and these actually have have probably drank more water. Um, there's a little less than half left in this one. So overall, I do notice that the older leaves in the master blend, you can see these here, they get really funky, spotted. Um, there's a, a bunch of them like that on the master blend one. And on the Maxi Grow one, there's some with a little bit of little little ed tip edge burn, it looks like. But overall, the leaves look healthier. I don't know why this one kind of went limp there. It's still attached and it's still uh, it's still in water so it's still growing but this one kind of I have it pinched in the in the tote now but see it's kind of just uh, went limp. I don't know why. But overall um, you know this has a little bit of edge burn as well here and there. And again, these have not been tested, so they could have a little too much nutrient. But overall, quality-wise right now, the Butterhead lettuce seems to be better in the, in the uh, General Hydroponics Maxi Grow. These seem to be a little bit more damaged for whatever reason in the master blend but the little the iceberg or i mean the uh, little gem butterhead this one i mean they're both doing okay this one has a little bit more tip burn this might have been because i have it too close to the light i try to keep them up but i can't put them too high because i have the other ones over on the side that i still need light on um, but this one looks nice and nice and healthy so it does still have its issues with the edges like down here as well but but overall, I mean, it's, it's hard to tell. Growth-wise, they're, they're growing about the same. Um, the, the heads, these are supposed to form a head. I don't know if they're going to end up per forming a head. Or, I don't know if they're going to end up forming a head or not. But, I mean, overall, growth-wise, I think they're neck and neck. Um, quality wise for the lettuce I think that the maxi grow right now has a slight advantage because I don't see as many bad leaves um, but again it could be over more nutrients in here than here I mean I did set them up for what they call for for the two and a half gallons and actually I believe I set it up for two gallons in each of these instead of the two and a half that I have in there so you would think they'd be a little under nutrient, nutriented, um, but that's where we are. That's what we got. So again, you can still pick these off, eat them. It's no big deal. Um, when I'm done with this, if there's any water left, maybe I'll check it just to see what the PPM and pH is. But it's kind of a weird, weird the way it does that, but. I mean, again, overall, it's all going to get eaten. I'll take off the bad leaves and eat uh, eat all the good ones. But that's what we have right now. So I guess I'll let you guys make the call, right? It seems uh, growth pretty similar. Quality a hair better on the Maxi Grow. But I can't complain in either one. Pretty soon I'll be having a lot of lettuce. All right. That's it for this one. Hope you guys liked the video. Please don't forget, uh, I have affiliate links 
in the description for everything that I use. And please subscribe. It really helps the channel. And if you like the video, please click that like button and leave me a comment. All right. Till next time, grow something. See you.